Hi guys, welcome to episode 13 of the Frozen World Survival. Today I'm going to be working on a storage room, which means I'm going to need a bunch of glass. I, I was planning on doing some villager stuff maybe, maybe catch some zombie villagers and curing them, but at this moment I don't think I really can I, because I just don't have a good enough storage solution. As you can see, I've already started putting chests up near the roof, and I don't really like that. So, I want to actually build an underground storage room. I'm going to start right here. I've done a lot since I last saw you guys. Um, mainly, I've been killing mobs. I did a little bit... I'll show you what I did over here. I did a little bit of work over here in order to make it so that I could kill them easier. I actually used some of my resources to make some sticky pistons. I just, I've got eight of them and I used some resources to do the um, um, repeaters. And now I've got this little lever here and I push it and it pushes everybody to the front. It also closes off the top so no more can fall down. It means it takes a little bit more to kill them, but it works out alright. I also only have one chest here, so I have to keep it cleaned out. I've been tossing the zombie flesh, though, and it's really loud, and I'll fix that. Every time, I, every time that does it, it does that. So let's fix it down like 20 will probably be good. I don't know why it's so loud every time. Anyways, I went ahead and did a couple enchantments before I come back. I Maybe I should have waited and did them with you, but I didn't have anything to record, and I did this last night, so I'm not too worried about it. We'll just leave them there. Or maybe we'll try to kill off as many as we can. But I've been thinking about what I want to do for my um, storage room. And I think it's going to require a whole lot of sand. So, oh yeah, one of the enchantments I did gave me this pick right here. It's epic, silk touch. And I did this pick as well. I think I, I was on camera when I did the first one of this. And I think I got Fortune and Unbreaking. Or maybe it was the Efficiency pick. But I combined them and then I renamed it. And I've got Fortune 3 and I got Silk Touch. As you can see, I Silk Touched a whole lot of ice right here. I'll fill this in with dirt later. Right now I've run out. I filled in a little bit here. What I figure I'll do is I'll dig down below the ice, but for now I think we're going to have to go get some sand. And I think what I'll do is I'll make a sand mine. I continued down that way and I made a branch mine start. It didn't intersect with anything so that turned out really good. So I'll be branch mining down there, but I think this direction, I'll go down to the bottom of the clay level. And what we'll do is we'll make a sand collection, clay collection area. So that's what this staircase will be. I'm going to need quite a bit of sand and glass. So that's what I'm going to be doing, and I'll probably meet you back after I've dug out a bunch, maybe, because this will probably be pretty boring. So I'll see you in a minute. Well, I'm back. As you can see, I've done a lot of digging here. It's really quite easy. I just dig out the clay below, put torches down, and then I just dig out that last layer of clay, and voila, lots of sand for me. 
course, if I run into one of those areas where the the sandstone is gone, I'm going to have trouble because I'll have to swim up and block it off. But I've, ha I've not been that unlucky so far. And that works out pretty good. I think it's lit well enough. I put the torches five blocks apart. So it looks a little dark in a few locations, but I'm not sure if it's going to spawn anything or not. I haven't checked the F3 or anything. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm sure it'll be alright. And if it isn't, we'll deal with it. And it's raining. But I should have plenty of sand. We need to start cooking up some, some of it so that I need to clear out my inventory though. I also got a lot of clay, which is nice. Um, we'll drop some of that sand there. Got a little bit of glass, but not a whole lot. Um, I want to start cooking up that clay too. I want to try to use um, clay for a few things. I need a, I had a bunch of stuff in my inventory I really didn't need to have with me when I went down there. But, oh well. Alright, let's clear that out. We'll clear that out. Alright, now we just gotta wait basically. And again, I'm running out of room. I'm gonna have to, um, I believe, put the smooth stone and stone maybe up in the other chest. I don't know. I don't have enough room to stick all this sand in here. All right, I want to get rid of this um um Okay, this is going to be a bit hard, but let's see. Okay, now I can't get out except for by swimming back to the mine shaft. Hmm. Although I think I can um all I got with me is sand though. Okay, that's all right. We'll put the sand there. Okay, I can't get it underneath my feet now. But that's all right. Um, let's see. Let's get going on this. Um, I want to get down there and pick up that ice. I actually have a couple stacks now, but I don't like wasting it. Okay, let's get some air before I drown. Alright, that takes care of that problem. Well, it's not really a problem, but let's see. 
I'm gonna go ahead and start getting rid of this water. Alright guys, I've gotten the water cleared out. I've not dug out the sand yet. I'm actually going to put in a sort of... I'm gonna put the walls in first and then I'll dig the sand out. It's gonna be a little bit tricky, but I think I can do it. This top layer of wall is just going to be stone brick because I want to block off the, the ice and the dirt. Which it'll all be dirt later on anyways, probably. Except for this bottom layer. It'll probably stay ice, but I'm thinking stone brick will be good here. I'm going to go all the way down to the floor level because I've blocked up all the water. And... I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do here. I'm thinking this will be like an entry. I'll have a, a ladder coming all the way down here. And later on it will be like... I'm not exactly sure. But right now, let's see, I'm going to do a ring of stone brick here in the bottom. I actually think I'm going to do a double ring because I'm going to bring this up one. And I want the floor level to be one above the bottom level here. So we need to have a little bit of a ring. I need more air. I wish I had a diving helmet, but I don't. So I'm just going to have to deal with what I've got. And I'm going to have to take out that one, those one sand pillars too, but that will come afterwards, after I'm completely done. So, I'm going to be doing this for a while, and I'll probably meet you back when I'm ready to start digging out the sand. So, I will see you in a bit. Alright guys, there's a little progress report. I've got the glass walls in completely, as well as the, um stone brick except for these some some of these walls have this sand pillar I think two of them I'll have to get rid of it but I'll do that as I move my way down I'll actually take them out on the way down but that's pretty good and I'm also going to start putting up a pillar here. I'm not sure exactly which direction I want to have this going in. Let's see. Which where's the door? There's the door. Um let's have it on the back wall, I suppose. We're gonna put the ladders here. That way I'll always be able to get up and out. But I'll probably meet you back here once I've completely cleared out the sand. This is going to be like a entry, I believe, and I'm going to have rooms heading off along the bottom of the ocean floor. And one of those rooms will be my new storage room. And I might move an enchantment room down here underneath the water, and I don't know what else yet, but I'll see you in a minute. Alright guys, I've got this cleared out, and I've got a nice little ladder going down. I need to make maybe a opening here because I need to be able to get out there I've lost a bit of sand I think I'm just gonna do this little bit of a trick with the signs and I can get my um bits of sand and of course the torches for the I need more air it doesn't look like anything fancy yet, but it will. It's going to take a little bit of time, though. I, I'm not really good at building things, so this is going to take me a little bit more time to figure out what I'm going to do with it. But it'll be functional. That's pretty much what it'll be. Let's see. I want to... Well, this bottom one's going to have to go... We're going to have to have the floor level is going to go up one. 
So this isn't going to be able to be here anyways. Uh, now that I got the sand, I could probably go ahead and just take this out for now anyways. Alright. I want to do a pattern floor down here. At least have some nice looking floor, even if it's not going to be fancy designed building. It will look fairly decent. Alright, I think the birch goes there. It's a fairly simple pattern, but it looks really nice, I think. I'm going to have to figure out another way of lighting this place, though. Alright, that's the um, basic shape of the room for this room we're going to need I might be putting in a few more pillars here and there so that I don't slip off the ladder we'll put a um, trap door up here And in one of these directions is going to be my storage room. I'm thinking the back direction would probably be the best one. It's going to be a bit tricky though. Because building underwater is always tricky. So that's going to be kind of... I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to build it. I know I need a three wide hall and then I want at least a... 15 by 15 room or I might go with a smaller room and have more larger like halls coming off of them and then have the chest in like three different rooms I don't know it depends on how much storage I need well I'm back um, I checked the video and I found that it wasn't quite long enough so I've started working on the room that I'm gonna possibly branch off of but I was going back there to kill some monsters and I accidentally broke my sword which kind of sucks I was gonna I was planning on keeping it because it was looting two even though it was only looting two I figured I'd combine it with the next sword I made but I kind of accidentally broke it so guess we're just gonna have to see what we get let's see Okay, that's weird. Let's take that one. Oh, uh, that's not bad, I suppose. It could be better. We really like the looting. And I've been cooking up some more smooth stone. So I need more stone brick, as you can see. I, I um, Well, you can't see yet, but you'll see. I, I made a little hallway. And I'm going to branch out from here. There's going to be a 15 by 15 room here, and I need to get the next layer of bricks in, and then I need to start putting the glass in. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the top of the building. I know it's going to go up high, but I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to put a dome on it or something else. But, that's basically what I've been doing. I'm always confused about buildings, because it's not really my forte. I don't know. I, I'm always getting messed up on them. I never know what to do with them. Most of my buildings are just functional. Other than that, they don't really look good half the time. 
Sometimes they do look good, but that's by chance and, well, just random, random chance. They, they tend to end up looking good sometimes. Yeah, I'm gonna save some of the smooth stone as smooth stone. I think I'm getting close to getting this part over here done. I might actually need smooth stone for something. I gotta do the corners. I gotta figure out how tall it's gonna be. And now I gotta get rid of all the water after I've completely built this. Let's see. I don't think it needs to be that tall, but I may go ahead and go that tall just to get it meshed up with the ice. And I don't really think it matters too much. As I said before, my buildings are usually just functional, and that's probably all this is going to be. So I'm probably going to stick to being square. And that's probably going to be it. Die. Squiddy. I'll have to do some squid hunting someday. Alright. Let's get some more air. The only problem with doing stuff like this is the fact that you drowned. And I don't have a helmet that lets me keep under here for a long period of time. I've seen several other tricks that you can use. Something to do with like water. I suppose I could do that one. Seems like the torch trick is the one I usually use because that's I think that's like the first one I knew. Maybe, I don't know. It's just the one I remember. Whenever I think of needing water underneath water, I mean air underneath water, I usually go for the torch trick. Oh, 
Although I guess the bucket trick is a little bit more useful. Because I don't have to go down to a place where I can place a torch. Oops. Alright, I got two more walls to do. I'm going to probably pause the recording and get them finished. And then I'll meet you back when I'm... Well, I'm probably going to actually get rid of the water too. And I'll meet you back after I'm done with that. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do next. So I'll see you in a bit. Wow, that's a lot of work. But you, as you can see, the water is cleared. i got to figure out what I'm going to do for the roof. And we're going to have to put the floor in. I'm probably going to duplicate this floor here. And then I think we're going to have hallways coming off of here. Going in that direction, that direction, and that direction. And in those hallways will be different storage rooms with chests stacked on top of each other. I'm going to put them sideways and then put probably item frames. That way I can actually put what I want in them. I'm also going to have to... This, these, this room here can have the glass on the walls. But the um, storage rooms will have to be... The, the walls won't be able to be glass because you won't be able to see them anyway. So that it's just no sense. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the middle room yet. I might set it up as a crafting station area. It might have, like, miscellaneous storage. I don't know yet. But let's, um, see about getting the floor put in. This is getting really full. I need to get that cleared out pretty soon. So we've got spruce, birch, and oak. And then after we get the floor in, that'll probably be the end of this episode think that will probably do it. Alrighty. That looks pretty good. It needs a little bit more lighting. And I might take out that ice and put in an actual roof. I don't know yet. It might um, simulate this roof here. Although it might be one lower because I'm actually thinking about putting a block type up there as a roof. I might do some hardened clay. I'm thinking about using hardened clay inside each of these rooms. I might make a color coded. I might like have blue, green, and maybe a pink or a magenta, something like that. I don't really like pinks and browns and yellows and oranges that much. Although the pink in, in the in the hardened clay, it looks pretty good. But I'll probably go with a blue and a green and possibly a purple or a magenta. And the rooms themselves will probably be the same size as this one. So we're going to have little halls leading off. And then another room here and another room there and another room there. And then we'll have three walls of chests. And then we'll have the different types of materials posted on top. I'll still have some storage up above. See, I need some more stone brick. I need to fix one more thing and then we're just going to sign off, I think. Because I think we've done a pretty good job this episode. Considering how hard it is to do things underwater. Of course, you didn't actually watch most of it, so let's get rid of this one, that one. We use the silk touch to get the glass back. We'll have doorways like this going through each of the into each of the rooms, which will help get a little bit more light up on these walls. That'll that'll help out a lot. And I'm probably going to do something like that over here as well. Put doorways going to different directions. I may actually have a doorway going with a tunnel that actually links up to the staircase over there. It's 
possible. Or I might actually have it... I don't know what I'll do down here. I'm thinking about having possibly a area for enchanting. Maybe off one of these sides. We might have some machines doing things. I don't know yet. I might actually have my villager breeder down under here somewhere. And I'll have to have glass up on top though above the water so that they can actually work. But I think that's going to be it for this episode. So don't forget to like it if you like it. Leave me a comment and I'll see you next time. Bye!